Now that we have read the problem statement, we should try to build something similar to this in our flow sheet. Let me explain you very fast how it goes. So we got this stream, which is the pre or fresh feed. Then we heat it up. Then the feed goes to this flash. The flash goes separated with vapors and liquids. The vapor goes to this combustion chamber, which then is added with this air flow mix. So technically the raw materials is this one right here and this one right here. The combustion chamber combusts this at 10 bar and we got our stack of gases. Then the liquid goes here, gets depressurized, then goes to this column, destillates are separated, compressed, and then go to this product line. Now the interesting part right here will be the recovery of the aromatics. So this goes to another column and in this column we get our C6 which is liquid and our C7 which is also liquid. Okay, so let me go to the simulation. And first things first, I want to get rid of all these things. So you just click here, delete. Okay, that's fine. Make no worries. And other thing I want to show you is that whenever we have been adding a stream, we are prompted to enter the name of the new stream. I don't know about you guys, but in my personal opinion, I don't like it. I'm used to Aspen Plus adding this directly a number. Actually, this will be awesome if you know the name of the stream, but then eventually it gets kind of stressful whenever you want to add just a stream without thinking on the name. And well, in my opinion, I don't want to. So let's say this is feed. So I'm used to essentially just add the stream and for and get a automatic numbering. So let me go here, file, options, flow sheet, and here stream and unit operation labels i really love when we add a block and aspen will automatically add this b which stands for block so that might be not that interesting but when you're working throughout many streams and units it's very useful especially when you're in a, a spreadsheet to know that b stands for a block and actually i prefer streams having just numbers so you can have S for stream, so stream number one, S1, two, three, or four, etc. But I prefer just to number with letters blocks. For instance, B1 will be the first block I add, B2, B3, up to B10, and so on. So I don't know about you. This is what I am going to do for my setup. Apply, okay. And this is what I'm talking about. When I add this stream now, it will be automatically numbered. So now I add this. I prefer this because eventually when you're adding plenty of streams, for instance, this example, you want to reconnect a unit which requires four streams. Instead of I personally changing the name, I just add them and that's fine. Anyways, let's continue. Remember that we want to build something like this. And in my opinion, you have several ways to do this. Either you start adding all the unit operations and connect the, uh, the streams eventually add the required information. But the main problem with that is that if you have a single failure on your model, or if you are not sure what type of specifications you are adding, then you're going to encounter a lot of problems. So best case scenario is go step by step. So first we select the feed and we gotta specify this. One interesting part right here, if you are not using this type of units, ensure that we're using metric, Celsius, and bar. Remember that normal metric has Kelvin and atmosphere. And the most correct one will be SI, which is the system international. Or if you are using English units, you can use this as well. So I love it because Aspen will calculate automatically without making any kind of error. You just click here and everything changes automatically. So 15 Celsius, 10 bar, and 100 kilomole per hour. Now that we have this, as you can see, we have still red or incomplete data. And this is because we haven't fully specified this stream. We need to state which type of composition we have here. And Let's do it. Let's check out. So 
I'm going to do this very fast, guys. I'm going to assume that you already know how to fill this up. Essentially, you just need to find the number and add it. Retain. So that's what one of the things I, I don't like that much on Aspen Plus is that you cannot reorder these for your convenience. This is fully specified as it was specified in the thing in the composition or the physical property environment. So this is zero and zero. Now, as you can see, it's blue, fully defined this stream and therefore all streams. What's next? We can add a air stream. Let's do it. And I really like to add all the raw materials first, you know, just to ensure 50 Celsius, just to ensure that we have all the required input. 21 and 79. Of course, if you use 20 and 80, that will be a small error, but not make no worries. I know plenty of advanced engineers that will actually use 20% instead of 21. Fully defined. 